What's going on, gang? Hey, man, I'm going to start this video off like this, man. A lot of folks that I know that label themselves black is heavily programmed clone, meaning they done adopted the ways of the oppressor slash colonizer, and they're not themselves anymore. They got black skin, but they're not themselves. Therefore, a clone. Between being heavily programmed and being a clone and just all out, flat out, distracted, choose one. A, B, or C. Heavily program it. A, a clone. B, or C, heavily distracted. Or D, all of the above. And I don't mean to generalize because I know it's not all, but I'm saying this to say, that when I hear about banking while black, oh, the bank is racist. Oh, the banks won't give me no loan. Oh, the, the, my bank did me like this. It's like, hey, brother, sister, hey, uh, have you ever thought the bank black? What black banks? I, I don't, I don't, what black banks? And they would literally claim that they've never heard of black owned banks. In, in, in America, there are black owned banks, not one, not two. There are many black owned banks. And the first thing they would say, and and I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, anybody with sense to know that you got to clearly be operating out of ignorance. You know, it don't mean you dumb or stupid. That just means you just flat out don't know. And so they'll hit you with that. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. And it's like, um, yeah, you ain't know how to have sex neither. You, but you, but you figured it out. You figured it out. You go to a, 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 a Google search for anything else when it comes to celebrity drama, when it comes to when the new Jordans come out, when it comes to the latest design and stuff. You, you know how to go and find it. But now all of a sudden, you don't know. We, that's a problem, man. That's a, that's a real issue, man. And sit back and oh man. Uh, the oppressor, oh man, the colonizer, oh man, the white man, they don't wanna they don't wanna see us do good, this, that. And then, you know, point the finger and play the blame game, you know, and instead of doing your homework, your due diligence and saying, you know what, wait a minute, I tell you what, I'm gonna try this bank over here, you know. What they'll do is they'll go back and nine times out of ten, they're gonna find another white bank to bank with. Even this other one I've been hearing about lately. Oh man, you know what? I don't believe this, man. Instagram, they 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 banned me. They shut me down. They won't let me. They closed my account or they put me on, put me in the jailhouse or they um the, the timeout. You know, Instagram, they doing this and oh TikTok racist, man. This it's for the Asian people. I can't believe this. They they TikTok gave this person the views and they they took my original content and Hey, man, why don't you go to black-owned social media? Black-owned social media? Yes, black-owned social media. There's a such thing as, as black-owned social media. I never heard of black-owned social media. That's my dumb, dumb voice, y'all. So I, I do that when they went, when, when, well, now I'm, I apologize. That's when, when people are ignorant and play ignorant like that, that's my voice for those people <laughs> no i've never heard of that go to it's called fan base you can you can download the app on your phone you can get your fan base account isaac hate the third you know if you know a lot of people heard of you know the famous isaac hey well his son has the headquarter here in atlanta georgia so you know it's like it's a lot of ignorance, man. That it plagues our community. It plagues the pe. It plagued the people, and not just the black people. But that's what I'm talking about right now. I'm blasting the black folk, the ones who are out here, and you know, man, we need to work together. We need to uh, uh, find ways to empower one another and group economics, and you know, uh, support one another and love one another and build up one another. Like, hey, man, um, there's an organization out here called the Black Achievement Fund. I mean, pretty legit. I mean, they believe in group economics. You know, they, they want to uplift each other and uh, show love, and they want to recycle the black dollar more than what it's doing right now. I want to say was the black dollar circulate like six hours in the black community. 
when we're like the number one consumers in the country, if not the world? Well, we'll just say the country right now until I do my homework. But in America, yeah, we're like the number one consumers. The minute we get the money, we blow it. And, you know, you say the same thing over and over and over and over. Like, hey, listen. But, again, they go, my ignorant voice, hey, well, this store was convenient. So you're just going to spend your money anywhere? Your hard-earned money that you put energy into, your time. You don't even get your, you don't even get that time back. So your energy and time earned you a few dollars. And this is how you spend it? That's a problem. And so, yeah, like, what is it to be pro-black? Many would say, you know what, to, to believe in your people, to support your people, to not date outside the race. Uh, again, group economics and love and, and big up your people and, you know, and be supportive and, and, and love your kind and love yourself. Well, when you go to speaking the truth and calling things out for what they really are. It upset a lot of people. All right. Now, everyone that date outside the race. That doesn't mean it's self hate. All right. You got people that date outside the race because for whatever reason, they they bond with this person. They click with this person. Uh, you know, they 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 love this person uh, for the reasons that they bond with people outside of their race. That doesn't mean that self hatred. I mean, you know, it's a lot of guys who done sat back and did some hard prison time and had someone outside of the race to support them and to be by their side and to help them through those hard times. And, and for that reason, they've created a bond and they now love that person and got that person's back. And the reason I'm able to say that, because I know quite a few people that are like that. All right. Now, one would say, oh, man, not all of the people could have supported them and held them down. They still could have got a black person. We ain't finna see here and act like we don't know how some of us could be. All right. When I say, come on now, like, let's not pretend I don't want to be PC. All right. Now, not all black women are headstrong and uh, 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 um, captain mentality, meaning I run the show. I call the shots. Not all black women, you know, and vice versa. Uh, not all black men, because you got a lot of beta men out here, a lot of soft men out here who will let the, the female take the lead, you know. But again, man, uh, when you, you know, you know, it got me thinking about self-hatred. I mean, I want to ask the question, is this self-hatred when black women pile up a whole bunch of makeup on their face and not reveal and show their real face? Some will say, no, they just want to enhance their beauty. I've heard that before. They want to enhance their beauty. Um, so you enhance it by getting someone else hair, Dominican hair, Hawaiian silky, synthetic hair, cancer causing synthetic hair. I mean, the hair that you put on your hair, whether it's synthetic, whether it's a wig, whether it's, it's, it's it looks european slash i guess asian or was spanish it doesn't i mean yeah that part right there what i'm saying is when it comes to beauty standards i understand that many of us you know again we're in america um uh, you know what well, now it's the world it ain't just america anymore it's south africa uh even parts of australia where we've integrated and we've picked up a lot of ways of other backgrounds and ethnicities we picked up a lot of their ways to the point that uh, many of us don't even identify with our own culture we can see somebody wearing a dashiki and um uh, i would never wear that oh too many colors you know someone could be speaking a um native language and what are they speaking oh it sounds like gibberish like you know a lot of times um uh, and not all of us you know but a lot of us are not even respectful of our culture and, and, and a lot of our culture, you know, is being lost. All right. And um, again, when it comes to self-hatred, everyone that date outside the race, that's that's not because they hate their race. All right. Now, if, if black men dating out of their race more than black women, 
then the women that they're dating got to be dating outside their race. It ain't just the black man. And not just that, you know, a lot of people say, you know, well, biologically, you know, to breed with any other race, to be the, to be the dominant uh, uh, gene, to breed with any other race, the child automatically becomes black. If uh, former uh, President Barack Obama have one white parent and one black parent, then he's automatically black. If uh, Meghan Markle got one black parent and one white parent, then she's auto uh, automatically black. And, you know, and, and that's been it for years. And that's what's been said. You know, you know, when you forget that one um, percent and that one drop of black blood. But when you have one black parent, then you automatically black. You know what I mean? And, you know, many of us know that know that to be uh, pretty accurate, you know, even according, you know, according to uh, biology, meaning, you know, the whole dominant gene, you know, uh, with black folk being, again, a dominant gene. So, uh, yeah. So not just pertaining to, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I wanted to say this because, like I say, I don't want nobody. I mean, of course, people get offended, especially if you're a person that wear a lot of makeup and you wear weave and you wear fake lashes. You're a person that had, you know, like surgery done to try to enhance your beauty by, you know, um, having a bigger butt or maybe bigger breast, you know, uh, tummy tuck, you know, because people now are taking a lot of shortcuts. But you have to ask yourself, is that part of self-hatred that you don't want to look like your natural self, how God made you? Now, it's one thing to say, you know what? OK, uh, I had breast cancer and I lost the breast. And so I got a fake boob in the place of my, you know. My the boob that I lost or, uh, you know, I lost a limb, a leg or arm or something. So I got a I got one of the. Fake ones, you know, to replace it, that's one thing. But, you know, again, to make a conscious decision, it's almost like being programmed, meaning again, the European beauty uh, standard, you know, it's set here. And this is the one that many people go out of. Uh, this is what's supposed to be beautiful, you know, and, uh, you know, the ble bleaching of the skin or the skin creams. And it's not just in the black community. Um, a lot of the Asian people, they deal with it, too, you know. And, you know, I, if you talk to them or if you know some Asians, they'll tell you, you know, they deal with it in their culture, too. But anyway, uh, is it self-hatred? When one get their dollar that they work for and go and spend it outside of the community uh, and, and go and uh, buy uh, rich people clothes such as Gucci, Louis, uh, Barberry, Fendi, uh, uh, Tom Ford or uh, Michael Kors or Louis, uh, all of that fancy brand name stuff that's designed by like Europeans. Is that self-hatred to say, you know what, this is a token of my prowess. I'm going to use my hard earned money and go and buy this to feel worthy. I'm going to go and spend my money with who I call the oppressor or the, uh, uh, or the uh, colonizer to make me feel important and to make me feel of value. I'm going to go and buy me a Mercedes Benz or buy me a BMW. It's something like, well, no, I buy it because I think it's nice. So all of the nice clothes is made by European. All of the nice cars are made by European. All of the fancy hotels, European. But that's what many of you spend your money. And you're like, oh, the black community is suffering. Listen, if you got a, if you got like a, 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 a two trillion spending power and your community's doggone lack resources and, 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 and basically in the same boat that it was in decades ago, who's, whose fault is that? This is where accountability comes in at. Because it's easy to talk. It's easy to talk and say what you should do. Oh, we should work together. Oh, we should uh, do this. We should do that. Nobody like it's not been it's not happening. And you got to ask yourself, you got to ask yourself, who's to blame? Is it the uh, oppressor's job to come fix our communities? I mean, just think about this. When have the powerful ever surrendered to the powerless? You want me as opposing forces to give you the resources necessary to overthrow me. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. 
Many black people, oh man, you know, the whites hate on us. Oh, the whites did this. Oh, the whites did that. But we don't talk enough about what we do to ourselves. And many are say, man, the things we do to ourselves is because of the conditions and the programming of what they've done to us that have us in this boat. So how do we stop it? When do, when do it change? When do it change? You start with the individual, right? So if, if each one of us that have sense lead by an example, we should see results. Slowly but surely, right? Okay, slowly but surely. Results, huh? Okay. I will say this. When you throw out a solution about us working together and say, hey, here's the avenue. Oh, that may not work. This, this may happen. Look at what happened with this organization. Look at what Black Lives Matter did with the money. That was, I mean, that was enough money to say, you know what, man? Look, let's let's put this towards some some farmland, so we can feed ourselves. Because right now, I mean, let's look at many other restaurants, right? Let's look at many people in the community. How many of us shop with black farmers? I didn't know black farmers exist. See, guess we don't know much now, do we? So we we didn't know it was black banks. We didn't know it was doggone uh, uh, black on social media. Even when it comes to characters or whatnot, man, uh, I'm going to say this real quick, man. My daughter had a birthday party and I hired some black characters to come out to entertain at her birthday party. I didn't go to no Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese is the mouse is racist. Look at what he did. I think that damn mouse went viral a, a year or two ago about being racist. Some some people go down to uh, Disney World and I think Mickey Mouse or one of the characters didn't shake the Black child hand and all oh, they races. Spend the money with your people, man. Spend it with your people. If you don't have it in the community, create it. Create it. You know. So majority, majority of us, man and woman, and children, girls and boys, are very emotional. In our feelings, very emotional. Can't say nothing, very sensitive, very sensitive. You can't, especially pertaining to truth. We can't call one another out. You know, I'm not coming from no malicious place. I'm not being vindictive, you know, but iron sharp and iron. And then, uh, you know, many would bring up uh, Umar. And the reason I say that, because Umar, he get a lot of praise in the black community. And you know, the sad thing is a lot of us won't even call the brother out and say, hey, listen, man, I get it. You, 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 you unapolog uh, unapologetically black. You, you, you pro, you, you, you pro black. You've been on this planet 50 some years, man. You never married a black woman. Not one time. You never been married to a black woman. Now you got two children. Now you said you got two daughters. But you never married a black woman. So how loyal you are you to your community and how pro-black are you? Well, okay, I get it. You had two children by two black uh two different black women, right? I give you some grace, right? I'll say, okay, boom. You lost your virginity at 20, right? But you 50 years old. Who you been sexing for the last 30 years? Because if you've been sexing women, pushing them back to the market, but then you're telling other men to marry the black women, then you're telling them, hey, look, take my leftovers. So you they good enough for sex, but not good enough for you to marry. But you lawyer you to the black woman. Make it make sense. And you, come on, you giving the dating and the love advice, man. And ain't nobody calling you out because you saying enough for these doggone black women to continue to support you. That's the bulk of your supporters. So he's saying just enough to keep them as supporters. And ain't nobody asking the real questions. Come on, man. If you want to look, I mean, this guy's like a lot of the pastors out here, man. If you want to, if you want to get your pimping on and you want to get you some, some easy money, 
Just say all of the stuff that these people want to hear and they'll support you. As long as you don't hold them accountable. They'll support you. They will. They will. You know, now once he start going in on them too hard and he go to talking about makeup, he go to talking about the attitude and, and, and talking about them being the helpmate and them being like the co-captain and not the captain, they're going to write them off. As long as you're saying what they, they want to hear, they got your back. And sadly, it's a lot of guys like that in the community, man. They're, they're, they're sh they'll prey on you. They'll say everything you want to hear. Everything you want to hear, they'll say it. As long as you support them, bring that 10% in, bring, bring that check in, support me. And boom, I got you. You know what I mean? But when, they, when it's time to like really offer like a solution to say, hey, wait a minute. This is what we're going to do to get farmland. This is where we're going to start growing food. This is how we're going to build our school. This is how we're gonna gonna start. This the bank, the banks we're gonna support out of the uh, the the few black banks we have. You know, you can count them on two hand. I want to say, yeah, you can count them on two hand. Excuse me. And so, until we get back to that man, we can't say nothing about doggone opposing forces, really, because it started with us. I mean, if they, if they, if they, if they, you know, if they got a system in place and then they doing redlining. And they doggone uh, hating on us and keeping obstacles in the way. I mean, we stronger, smarter, and we better than that. Right now, my opinion is looking like we our own worst enemy out here. Not enough of us are talking about it. And when you do talk about it, remember, like I say, many of us are in our feelings. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Because that means you have to step up to the plate and you have to do something about it. And you have to be held accountable. That part. Now, let's leave off on a good note. Now, when it comes to a lot of black men in, in America, we're great fathers. That stereotype and that rumor about us being deadbeats, they talking about a small percentage of men. That is not all of us. They talking about a very small percent. And it's crazy how that negativity to spread around and then people just group us all in and throw us. No, 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 no. That's a small percentage. And then many would say, you know what? They date outside the race more than anybody. Listen, black men date outside the race more than doggone black women because I guess they least, yeah, they less desirable, meaning a lot of men, Asian men, white men, Spanish, they not checking for black women to marry them. They, they would like want to kick it with them, but they not checking for them to marry them. They're not. The Asian man and the black woman is the least sought after. According to statistics, right? The least sought after. Now, the black man, everyone desire the black man. The white women, the Asian women, the Latino, I mean, Latinas, the uh, Hispanics, whichever title they wish to go by. E even men desire <laughs> the black man. I'm talking about for real, for real. Even I'm telling you, even other men, races of men would like hit on black men. Like everybody want to kick it with the Kings. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, man, I'm uh, going to end this video. What I would say is, because I, I, I want to, Leave you guys with the uh, solution to the women. Love your man and quit talking about him and all of that independent stuff and making songs about F my baby daddy and you the one chosen. Yeah, you chosen. Quit doing all that negativity and quit trying to control the man and quit giving it up before marriage. I mean, y'all ain't gonna do it. I mean, you should, but quit, quit just giving it up. And then when the guy don't play your game, and you lose at your game, then you get mad, and then you're in your feelings, and you become bitter and scorned and contentious. And so I say to you, go back to your feminine energy and stay there. If you don't have a idea of what it's like to be a feminine woman, study Dr. Francis, uh, Chris Wilson. Study Dr. Francis. Go watch all her interviews. Study her. Many of you know about Dr. Francis. Go to your feminine energy. I've yet to see this woman just, uh, 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 you need to do this. And, and Batman, I even seen 
Shahrazad Ali pipe up. And I'm like, woo. Like, you know, that's that's some that's some aggressive energy. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, she's an intelligent woman, you know, a beautiful intelligent woman. I mean, I like Shahrazad Ali. Uh, but if I had to choose between marrying her and Dr. Francis, I would need me a Dr. Francis and my that's just me, man. I'm conservative, man. I'm laid back. All that rah rah man, man, listen, man. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a nice size man. I don't need you rah rah with me, man. I do not I do not wish to physically fight with you and none of that. I need you to, you know, respect me. You know what I mean? And and I'm gonna respect your your role and your position, your department. You know, we gotta respect each other and you know, we can compromise and you know. And uh yeah, so but anyway, uh where was I going with this? Uh, I wanted to leave off on a good note and say tap back into your feminine energy. That's where your real power lie in your in your femininity. And uh for the men take back your rightful place. For you men out here, take back your rightful place. Now, a lot of guys grow hair, they look like men, they sound like men, but take back your rightful place. And stay away from the clones. Stay away from the clones. Uh, uh, become a critical thinker and activate. All right. The power and the answers are within. Activate. And uh, also stay with your family. Continue to be uh, great fathers. And uh, what I will say, oh, yeah, because I got sidetracked. Black men date outside of the race more than a black woman, but when it comes to dating outside the race, the uh, Hispanic community date outside the race. The uh, Hispanic community and the Asian women date outside the race more than anyone, not the black man. We got more black men and black women uh, that are, are married, uh, way more than the black man that, that left the community. All right. Uh, I'll get back with you later. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I mean, I was just picking up my son from doggone school. So, uh, yeah, where, where was I? Well, anyway, man, to check out the statistics, man, uh, you got PEW Pew uh, Research. You can check these statistics, and uh, it'll tell you about the whole who date outside the race the most. It'll tell you about. Uh, black fathers being better fathers than any other fathers in this country. Like, man, go and do your research, man, and stop buying uh, everything people tell you. You know, do your due diligence. And also, if you sitting back and you feeling doggone defeated, then, hey, if you think doggone the colonizer are the oppressor doggone big and strong and not going to let you succeed in your attempt, then maybe they won't. But if you think you can doggone overcome and you know who you are, then overcome. If you think they better than you, then they better than you. If you don't think they better than you and you and, 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 and you who you are and you and you better and you great, then you be better and you be great. And that's what I say to you guys. At the end of the day, Please be entertained. Everybody on social media talking, carrying on, having conversations. Hey, man, this spark you to do some research and to step your game up. Then, hey, do some research, step your game up. At the end of the day, um, live with your decisions, man. If you're going to date outside the race, live with your decision. If you're going to stay, stay within your race, and stay within your race. Because at the end of the day, everybody going to do what they do. They want to wear makeup, they're going to wear makeup. They want to wear fake hair, they're going to wear fake hair. If, if, if men and women don't want to go to the gym and they want to sit back and be unhealthy, that's what they're going to do. You know, meanwhile, the ones who got a fighting chance and know what they want and know where they want to be, shoot, they're going to bust a move. So I guess this kind of void the whole <laughs> video. But now, nah, man, be inspired, step your game up, uh, be great. Be great. Be appreciative. Move forward. Move forward. Move upward. Excel. All right, guys. Next time.